Well, Rob, here at the Brewery Field, great news. Signed and sealed, a new contract. Tell us just a little bit about how pleased you are. Uh, yeah, I'm buzzing to get it sorted. Uh, I think it's been a couple of weeks. I spoke to the gaffer at the end of the season after the last game. He was like, look, I want to want to keep you and all that. Um, and then it was kind of just, I wanted to like, not tie him up, I just wanted to get away from it a little bit. So I said, look, I'll speak to you in like a week's time or whatever. Um, met him at Costa on Friday, last Friday. And then... Um, Yes, yeah, spoke to the chairman as well. Yes, well, that was just yesterday. I spoke to the chairman, and um, we just got it all sorted. And as, as always, he just took the mick out of us. <laughs> said, said I hadn't had a good season. Yeah, I'm looking to get a contract and Doesn't all that. Doesn't sound like him. All that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, obviously, I was expecting it. So, we had a good bit of banter and all that. And then, um, yeah, got it all sorted. Fantastic as well, I imagine, for you, but obviously for the club as well, to get things sorted so quickly in the summer. Yeah, do you know what it is? It's probably the latest I've ever sorted it because I I, I like to just be sorted and know right. what I'm doing next year. Then I just kind of have me two month off and get away. Obviously, with going to my beer tomorrow as well and trying to like <laughs> get away from it all for a couple of months because as you know, it's like ten months is a long time just focusing on football. Yeah. Um, so it's nice. I like to get things sorted quickly. Um, but obviously with things, I don't know what was happening, like the background and things like that. But yeah, we eventually got it sorted and then uh, yeah, I'm enjoying my time off now. Uh, and just tell us a little bit about how pleased you are just to be joining this next stage of the club now as they move on, you know, because the momentum that was built last season is something that make it, is making everyone really excited about what can be achieved next year. Yeah, I think the season stopped at a bad time for us, really, because I think if we kept on going, we will win the league. Because <laughs> um, we just, yeah, that's a, that's a, but that just shows confidence, and yeah, and obviously the gaffers came, gaffer came in and uh, Clarkie as well, and um, done a great job, and then the lads are brought brought in as well, and we all came to just like seemed to click um, and we and we did do well um, and it's obviously exciting to see what's going to happen next year. There's a real togetherness around the club isn't there, not just in the squad in that dressing room but it feels like the club's really connected at the moment right in, through, the, through the fans as well. Yeah, as you can see the last game of the season we were all in the clubhouse together, all the fans, everything like that, everyone stayed behind for Jamesy as well. Um, so it's nice to see, do you know what I mean, you, you go through spells and seasons and we we'll, we'll probably will next year as well where we have, we don't win every single game and we, and we play bad and we all that kind of stuff, but we've just got to stick together. And as you can see, the last three months of the season, um, everyone got together, um, stuck together, and that just shows what can happen. How much did you enjoy last season? Because it, it must be up there as one of one of your best, is it? It was, yeah, and that's what I was telling the chairman as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, goals and assists, it was, yeah, and I think the last three or four months, especially, um, I really enjoyed it. Do you know what I mean? I was playing me. A bit further up in the number ten position, as I, as I like to do, because um, sometimes I get dropped back with certain things. Um, but yeah, the, the last three months especially was were really good. But as you know, if, you, if you're winning, it's going to be it's good for everyone. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't it wasn't just me. Everyone had a good time the last three four months. It, it just seemed that, that we hit on a system that really brought the best out in a number of players. Yourself mainly. Yeah, as I say, I was just kind of working hard. Clark, you got the GPS vests on on, on, on our back. That added so, pressure. So I, that's that added pressure to run that little bit extra because uh, he sends it into the group the next day and everyone's thinking, oh, I don't want to run the least. Um, good job, Brad. You're never in danger of that, no, are you? Come no, on. No, I'm, I'm, always, I'm always up there with. Uh, I think Danny's always up there as well, but I remember. Uh, Glenn came back and he, he walked from his injury and he walked the first time and he was getting told to sprint all over but because he had that on his back he was thinking I better sprint here I better sprint because <laughs> I think he came off he was absolutely knackered but uh, it does just make you go a little bit a little bit more do you know what I mean an extra yard um, just to try and be the top of that leaderboard and those sorts of things that's the kind of thing the management team want to bring isn't it to just give us that extra little percentage that can hopefully help us achieve our ambitions next year yeah you know it is at the top at the top like in the top leagues and all that, that that's what they look at the the running distances and all that kind of thing and it, if you like if you look at what we've done the running stats just came from our performances so if we were running more we were actually winning and doing better and then I think there was one Russia Olympic away um, we got beat and, we're, and that was the lowest we ran right. and it kind of when you put it together um, and Clark is saying look the, st the stats don't lie kind of thing um, and then when we raise our game Scunth I think Scunth all before might have been the first we ran and it was an unbelievable performance you know what I mean so things like that I didn't expect this to turn into a GPS conversation, <laughs> but fair play. I mean, you know, obviously there's there's excitement, isn't there, for for the, the to go away now and relax, like you say. But you know, because of the way that the season was going, and you say the the form we were in, everyone's just so excited to get back now. There's a real buzz among the fans buying season tickets and everything, and it is going to be something to really savour. Looking forward. Yeah, I can't wait for next year. But as I say, you like your two month off because you kind of just wait. You don't really have two month. I have like a month off, and you start getting back in the running and like pre pre season, and then. 
you start focusing on obviously the first day of this uh, pre-season um, but as you say yeah everyone was at the end of last season everyone was absolutely buzzing so it's just trying to um, bring that forward on the next season as well and on a personal note how, how much can you keep on bringing because you know people were looking and saying well can, do, do you have to adapt your role last season and, 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 and things like that but you know your figures and your numbers you're coming up with what what can it, what kind of targets are you setting for yourself over the next two years? Well, I think I think my uh, my running targets now. <laughs> <laughs> I think my targets for this year were was ten goals and ten assists, and I think I ended up better than that. So it's kind of just setting targets like that, which I've never actually done. I speak to Glenn about, it and he always sets himself targets for seasons. And I just thought, you know, what it is this season I'm going? And I was in with uh, Stuart Parnaby, and I said, look, I want ten goals, ten assists, um, and I managed to beat that. So I think it's just something to yeah. get to, um, and then. Yeah, do you know what it is? Things are falling for us this year and kind of stuff like that as well. And you just, yeah, I was just, I don't know, it was just weird. Like I was, I was playing through balls and things like that and the lads were finishing it. So it was kind of just like clicking together. But this year, it's just going to be this, the same as what I'll, what I'll always do. You know, is I'll, I'll give everything, I'll give 110% every single game. Um, try not to miss any games. I'd, obviously, I missed a few games this year through injury, me and Glenn at the same time. Um, which is disappointing because I hate missing games so it's just trying to keep fit and obviously uh, giving everything again yeah yeah because that is a big part of your game you know you can take away the goal everything else that goes the passion you play with you really do you're one of those who, who really when you're out there you you play with your heart and your sleeve don't you you're so razor focused yeah it's, you know what it is it's funny in training because like when new lads come in all the older lads have got to warn the new players <laughs> that I will just lose my head I'll kick goal posts and, I, and I, I even in training the five sides I want to win and I'll storm off the pitch at the end of training because I haven't won. Um, and do you know what it is? When I cross the white line, I'm just kind of a different person. I, and I do just focus on the game. But and then you've got to give us about 10, 15 minutes after the game if we've lost, just to calm down. Um, but as you say, when like all the lads know I'm like off the pitch, I'm like we, we go out together all the time. We're best mates. Do you know what I mean? But on the pitch, I've just uh, purely focused. I know we've spoken about this before, but the captain's armband seemed to just give you that extra I don't know if it took an edge off you but then I remember a game away somewhere where the captain's armband got flung across to Glenn Taylor and then 30 seconds later you were having a big argument with someone <laughs> nah do you know what it is I can't believe Glenn took it off us actually <laughs> <laughs> when I asked you to run it we're on a great run of form and Glenn came on and took it so I thought but, uh, nah but do you know what it is it was kind of one of them things that people maybe like look up to you a bit more so you've got to try and keep your composure mm. Um but I don't know what I don't know what happened. There was something that happened that game, and I, and I and I totally forgot what it was. But I did just lose. I literally gave me, and then as you say, thirty seconds later, something happened, and I just switched. magic power. Yeah, it was a magic power that came off, and I was I was away with my old self. But do you know what it is? I loved having it, um, but obviously Glenn's captain, um, and hopefully I'll be vice captain next year. Do you know what I mean? And then if, then we'll see what happens. But that must have been a special moment for you. I know it was a special moment for you because you've got a real attachment with this club now. You know, you're moving into a, a contract that's going to take you through into a testimonial year as well, which is a brilliant reward for your service and, and I'm sure one you're really proud of. Yeah, uh, that, that was one of the biggest things, to be fair, to get to the 10 year kind of thing. And um, st- do you know what it is? I, ne- I never really wanted to move, but we never knew what was happening. Um, but getting to a 10 year one club and kind of. When you, when you look at the games I've, I've played and missed, you, I've played the vast majority over them eight years or, um, so far, so I just want to carry that on. Um, but yeah, getting the armband was, was a really uh, proud moment because all my family were there that game as well. Um, so And then obviously the gaffer just came in and said, look, you're going to be captain. Um, but as you, as you know, I think I was fourth choice captain because uh, James <laughs> wasn't playing, Sparty wasn't playing, and Glenn wasn't playing, so it was just... Uh, it was just one of them things that happened and I loved it, yeah. It's just another chapter in, in what has been a, a really glorious time for you here in, in black and white, hasn't it? You must have enjoyed every minute. Well, you say every minute, there's been some... Uh, <laughs> most been, minutes. The, the, most minutes, there's been some ups and downs, <laughs> do you know what I mean? As, like, as everyone knows, I, I argue with the fans, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Things like that, and but that's just my passion, is going back to the passion and things like that, but the majority of the time, 90, 95% of the time, has been unbelievable, you know what I mean? So I couldn't ask for any more from the chairman, the gaffers who have been here and gone, um, and obviously moving forward, trying to keep on going.